Yeah, hi everybody. Today we'll go and learn about the Android Studio, how to download and install in a Windows operating system. So first of all, let's go to our browser. You can use any, uh, maybe you can use a Edge or Firefox or Google Chrome. I'll be using a Chrome. And let us search in our search bar uh, Android Studio. So let's search for Android Studio. And on the first link, you can see that a developer.android Dot com just go to that one and I'll just change this to English and what we'll do is you will have a first option you will see as a download Android Studio so just click on this one and here we have uh, some uh, agreement you can just go through and you can just select that I have read all the agreement above terms and condition and just select on download so it will download the file for you and I'll just cancel it for now and if you want to check for a more download option you can just go to the check for download option and you can see the other option like a version of a Windows 64 bit a Windows 34 bit or if you are using a Mac you can also use a download for a Mac and Linux and also for Chrome OS so basically if you have a 64 bit version, it's recommended that you can download a 64 bit. By default, it will download a 64 bit. So, if you have any other version like a 32 bit uh, OS, then you can make use of this one. Then I have already downloaded it, and after you have successfully downloaded it, let me close this one. And let me go to my download folder over here, and the file is already downloaded over here. So what I will do is just uh, double click on this one and it will open an installer for us. So here just click on yes and let it open up. Welcome to when Android Studio. We have a dialog box over here and just click on next and just select uh, both the option over here, Android Studio and Android Virtual Device because we'll be using a virtual device for playing on with our Android apps. So just click on next from here and you can select the location where you want to download or sorry where you want to install the uh, installation location. You can always browse and change the location from here and I'll just click on a default one. I'll just go back and go to next and I'll just click a select the default location. If you want to change to another location you can go and change it and we'll just click on next and I'll just select the do not create a circuit if you want don't want to create a circuit but i want to create a circuit so let's uh, leave uncheck this one and just click on install so it will just go and extract and install the file for you and it may take us a bit of time so let me pause the video and i will come back later so the installation is completed and just click on next and just start the android studio and click on finish here we can select either a config or an installation folder that if you have previously installed but this is our first time that we are doing the installation so just we we'll click on do not import any setting and just click on ok so that will start the android studio for us for the first time and we need to configure and download some more of the option and let's go and see what other things that we need to still configure so i will just say uh, if you want to send a uh, user static or you don't want then i'll just say don't want i don't want to send any static or for the users because that will collect a lot of the information from your pc so it's uh it's depend on you whether you want to send or not uh, i don't want to send that's why i click on it. and here we have a welcome screen and we have a welcome screen and just click on next here and if you want to customize you can just select on a custom but i've just select a standard from here and just click on next and whether you want to use a dark theme or you want to use a light theme depend on you but i will choose a light theme because the light theme is more easier for you guys to uh, i think for a watch but if you have selected dark theme maybe it may be difficult for you guys to watch so that's why i'll be selecting all light and just click on next and here you have some option to download it will take uh, 651 mb they still need to download some of the required files so i'll just click on finish so it will go and download the files for me depending on your internet speed it may take a bit time so let me pause the video over here and i will come back later 
So here we have uh, done and the downloading of all of our requirement SDK and everything has finished and there is a, some error for our uh, HAXM which is uh, used for our virtual device but uh, because this is a virtual machine so it may not be possible for me to install so you can ignore this error but if you are in a real machine so that should be there should be no post, uh, error for you guys because uh, this is my virtual device that's why uh, I can install uh, XAHM which is used for our Android virtual uh, machine and uh, other things should be okay then I will just click on finish and we have a new Android Studio pop-up menu and what it will select is that we can start a new project over from here so that's it for this video and the next lecture we'll go and see on how to start our new Android Studio project and we'll be creating a new project for our Kotlin development. So I will see you in the next video. Till then have a great day.